So in this video, it's not going to be really a tutorial, it's going to be more of a demo. I'm going to demo the Ionic Creator uh, by Ionic Framework. A few weeks ago, I met up with the guys from Drifty, the creators of Ionic Framework, and they went ahead and gave me a beta access to the software. Um, so this is kind of like a um, Dreamweaver. Uh, what you see is what you get type of editor for creating um, very nice um, Ionic Framework mobile hybrid applications. It's, it's quite easy to use and it generates um, very nice code in the end. Uh, one thing that I should note is it's still in beta. I tried to do this video on my Ubuntu machine and it would not work. So now I'm doing this video from my Mac. Um, I'm sure they're working on fixing this kind of stuff. I'm going to raise the issue with them. But for now, um, I could only get it working on my Mac. So I'm just going to go ahead and play around. This is, this is a new project. Um, I'm going to go ahead and add, for example, a card. And you can do that by just dragging it to the screen. And, for example, in that card, I'm going to put an image. Uh, pretty easy. Pretty easy. Um, and underneath that card, let's go ahead and throw... Oh, see, because it's not a list, I can't add a list item. So let's go ahead and try to add like a footer to it. These are all the things that you can add on the left. And it's not everything. I'm sure it's going to grow. Um, but for now, this is, this is what we've got. So let's go ahead and add a list. Nope. All right. Oh, so we can add a footer. So let's, let's see if I can drop something in it now. Nope, can't can't drop it. That's all right. So let's let's go ahead and add a button bar, and um, change some text here. We can go ahead and change this. Uh, My example app. I mean, there's there's a, a lot um, a lot that we can do, and it, it's it's really nice if you don't have the strong um, CSS kind of styling background. If you'd rather do it, if you're a UI designer and you'd rather um, create a UI for your backend programmer to make for you, it's uh, quite a convenient solution. And you can uh, enter edit mode where it shows you what what the app is going to do. It's kind of like a preview mode. So let's go back and edit rather than test. And uh, just like that, there, there's a lot you can do. A lot of it's still in beta. Um, you do have to follow the same rules that you would expect. Um, like you, like I, we just saw, you can't add items to a non-list. Um, it's, it's a nice tool. Uh, I... I think a lot of people are going to get a good value out of it. 